Hello everyone! This round I sure do not have any kind of box to open up, so I thought to myself, why don't I do a movie review? And what movie did I decide to do? Uh, a movie called Blood Red Sky. It is a German film that you may have seen recently pop up on Netflix. Um, my curiosity got the best of me, and I decided to throw it on and see if it was any good. Um, now, if you're not sure what the hell the movie is about, I'll give you a little synopsis on it. A woman with a mysterious illness is forced into action uh, when a group of terrorists attempt to hijack a transatlantic overnight flight. Um, generally, movies that involve planes are not going to be the best things in the world. They usually end up being some kind of bad sci-fi channel fodder. Um, now, this one mixes vampires and planes. Um, now, before I dig further into that, though, uh, I do have to ask you guys one quick thing. Um, last video I did ask a few of you to go to Have Cheeto Will View. Um, I'm going to ask you again because he's two freaking subs away from hitting 300. So please, please, please go over to his channel. Hit the subscribe button. Now you got to make sure you watch a video because that's the other thing too is I hit it. But a few of you might not have let it run or, you know what I mean, the subscription might have gone away. So, you know, go go give a few of his videos a watch. He does really cool interviews and stuff like that. So I totally appreciate it. Uh, guy's been very supportive of me. Gives me some shout outs on the uh, Midnight Hour uh, streaming thing they do sometimes on Sundays. So like I said, definitely go check his channel out and give him, a, give him some love. So anyway, back to me blabbering about vampires on planes. Um, you know, generally they cannot be the best films in the world. I mean, some exceptions, you have Snakes on a Plane with Samuel L. Jackson from way back in the day. That gave a lot of you, you know, fun things to talk about with Snakes on Planes and stuff like that. Uh, Exorcism at 60,000 Feet, that's another one that was an exception. I enjoyed that movie. I don't care what anyone says, it had a great cast. Uh, that's what that Death House movie should have been that was essentially like the Expendables of Horror, but was a flop of horror, if anything, I think. Um, but anyway, I enjoyed that Exorcism in 60,000 Feet film. Um, now, one thing about this film, a lot of these actors in it, I do not know who the hell they are. Um, the main actress, hold on here, uh, Perry Baumeister, I'm thinking is the name, uh, she's just been in a whole bunch of European films, nothing that I know of. Um, there's two actors that I feel you might recognize. Um, the first one, Dominic Purcell. Uh, this is not his first dance in a vampire film. He was in, I think, Blade Trinity. That's one thing you might recognize him from. Um, you, you know, I'm going to put his picture right there. You, or maybe it's right, I don't, it, wherever it appears at when I edit this stuff. Um, but I'm going to put his picture right there. And you're going to recognize that guy because you've probably seen him in a ton of films. And then also, uh, Graham McTavish. Uh, looks like an old general dude. He plays some kind of general in this film. So that's, you know, some guys are kind of stereotyped into roles. I think that guy is definitely stereotyped into one. I looked at his uh, IMDb. He does a ton of voicing in video games as well, too, which, surprise, general voices and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, with the film, it... It is, again, a two-hour long film, but it it flows decently. Now, it does the thing in the beginning where I hate when the film does, you know, like the ending in the beginning and then spends the rest of the movie explaining how you got to point B or whatever it is. It, it just drives me crazy when films do that. But in this film, that actually did kind of work, so I'm going to let that slide. Um, now... The mom, she drives me a little bit crazy. She is definitely very mousy, very closed off. Um, you know, not a very open person. So you'll see interaction with her and other uh, characters throughout the film where you're just like, oh my God, this lady is uh, <laughs> very, um, not a nice person. I'll put it that way. <laughs> She's one of those like paranoid parents. 
So that's what I would say. But I mean, it's good to be a paranoid parent probably. So, um, but anyway, as the film progresses, the terrorists get introduced into the film and then all hell breaks loose. You know how it is on a plane. One wrong thing happens and then everyone panics. Um, and the weird thing is the terrorists, you know, sometimes they can all be dicks. Um, one of them seems not as much of a dick. And then you have a crazy one, which is, I guess, eight ball, um, who is a very crazy one. It seems like every European villain that you might think from like Die Hard or, you know, any kind of European villain, yeah, any kind of European villain in a film, um, just kind of seems to be like that. Um. I like saying I'm a lot. That's just what it is. You guys are all going to have to be used to it. I do not have the technology to snap it out. If I did, I'd be looking like this. Uh, mm, e, e, e. No, I just, I like to go with the natural flow, but sometimes I have to go the um thing to, uh, you know, uh, my brain has to process this stuff because I'm just blurting all the stuff out of my mouth. I don't have a dialogue or script or anything like that, but you guys all know this. You're used to it. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we get to the terrorist introduction into the film and something happens to the mommy vampire and everybody thinks that she's gone, but not really. That's when she goes through her whole transformation uh, into, you know, from regular mommy into mommy vampire. And then, you know, it's the victims by number thing. You start seeing the terrorists go down, down, down that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, a lot of interesting things do happen in the film, and I will say that, uh, you know, maybe my brain isn't the smartest brain in the world, but it did actually uh, put a little hiccup in the film that I wasn't expecting um, that definitely, you know, added to the two-hour thing because it could have wrapped up very quickly, but uh, something did happen in the film. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but uh, it, it definitely made an interesting little thing to it. And then you actually see the evolution of the mother um, and also kind of why she probably takes all that crazy medicine that you will also notice in the film. So, uh, you know, overall I, I enjoyed it and I, you know, kept me, uh, it kept me glued to the film. I didn't go, oh, I'm done. I'm over this film. So it, it kept me engaged. I liked it. Um, if anyone did see the movie, let me know what you thought in the comments of it. Uh, I will definitely say the dubbing was a little iffy. I probably would have maybe preferred the subtitles um, just because I think that the um, speaking would have been a little more fluid and just kind of more cohesive with the acting. So um, that's pretty much it. So that's uh, it for me throwing a little movie review out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe I might throw one of these out here and there instead of when I usually go to a movie theater and blurt out some quick one minute thing because it's a little awkward doing it after the movie i'm a little like frazzled out in the public this is a little more comfortable right now and i can kind of take my time and you know just blurt it out blurt it out so uh that's it for this video guys and uh once again please 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 go and uh head over to my buddy's channel have cheetah will view and make sure you subscribe to his channel and uh get him to that 300 all mark because that would be awesome so that's it guys uh till next time and uh I'll catch you later.